Today we're taking a look at the newest humidor from Need One, the 48L. This is a 300 count humidor that's both heating and cooling. So stick around, we're gonna dive into this a little bit more. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So as I had mentioned before, today we're taking a look at the newest cigar humidor from Need One. This happens to be the 48L 300 count cigar humidor that's both heating and cooling. So maybe the most important part outside of the humidification portion of cigars is also being able to regulate the temperature both hot and cool. So we'll kind of dive into a little bit of that here in a second, but a few of the specs on this first. So this unit is just over 21 inches deep. It's about 25 or so inches high and approximately 14 inches wide. So in terms of storability, it's a good size unit without it being an overly large cabinet. So again, diving into a few of the specs, as you can see here, uh, inside, you can probably see a little bit of a kind of a shadow. That's from one of the interior puck lights that uh, comes with the unit as well. Up here on the right, kind of gives you the little puck light on and off. And here, maybe two of the most important things, that, as I had mentioned before, the heating and cooling aspect of this cigar humidor. Roughly 70-70 has kind of always been the rule of thumb in terms of where you want to store from a, a heat uh, and a humidity level. But again, very easy controls there, puck light in there. Uh, we'll kind of dive into the uh, the inside of this, maybe the setup of, of what it is that I do or maybe some suggestions there. But uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the inside of this unit. Alrighty, so here's what we have. So this unit comes with, uh, this doesn't normally come with it. This is a box that I've got from my 150 count uh, need one humidor, which I'll also have linked uh, above and or in the description if that's something that you're interested in as well. But typically what you get with this unit is the upper drawer and three shelving units here. Again, all Spanish cedar. Uh, typically what you wanna do with this is prior to really using it or getting into any of that is pull all of this stuff out, give them a nice kind of you know wipe down maybe with a damp cloth using some distilled water. It'll also help to introduce a little bit of humidity into the actual uh, Spanish cedar. So that'll kind of help to acclimate that a little bit as well. Uh, also, I would say unplugged, if you wanna take kind of a, a light damp rag, wipe the inside of, of this unit out. Because as you can see, I mean, there's a lot of plastic, the fan is in the back. You know, get maybe any of that dust or debris that's out of there prior to using this. Um, I have already, seasoned this unit for the most part what i did was i took the, the little container that it comes with filled that with distilled water and let that kind of rest in there for about three days to bring it up to a a relatively high uh, humidity level just to kind of introduce again more humidity to that and then i'll regulate that humidity by introducing maybe either a little higher heat or lower, which again, uh, you can do with this unit being a heating and cooling unit. So let's talk a little bit about also what you get and maybe kind of some of the storability with this one. So as you can see, and again, these are all gonna be adjustable. So however it is you wanna kind of set up your, your unit, it gives you that kind of flexibility. So this was basically how it came. So we're gonna leave it the way it is right now, just for uh, this purpose here. But as you can see here, one of the things I also like is being able to pull these drawers out uh, and then let them rest. I mean, I'm pushing down on this fairly significantly and it's not going anywhere. So what I tend to do is use these drawers for a lot of the singles. So most of the time when we all accumulate a lot of singles, you don't have anywhere to put those, you know, outside of maybe some other little small containers you've got, but I've always found that this is a great place to just kind of store a lot of your singles. Now, where I think this unit really shines is again, not only in the adjustability, but by being able to remove a, a shelf, this allows you to store or stack several boxes 
or some type of small containers that will allow you to, again, store either singles, you know, or five packs, 10 packs, whatever it is you may get. But it offers a really, really nice kind of flexibility from that standpoint. Now, as I said before, this was just the drawer that I received in the 150 count, which I'll most likely use in here just because it allows me to, to kind of maintain a little bit more storage uh, from that standpoint. So it gives you a, a really nice uh, place to store, like I said, a bunch of singles. You know, then you can kind of take that, put that in the bottom, you know, or really anywhere you'd like. I mean, you can you could remove all of these if you if you really want and just kind of stack or store as many uh, boxes or you know containers as you'd like. So absolutely incredibly versatile humidor. I think it allows you to you know do a lot of regulating. Again, the heating and cooling for me is is a is a very very important part of one of these these units by being able to control that heat uh, and cooling aspect is is absolutely incredible so um, hats off to them for introducing that to this unit and then again like i said before you would just have to maintain or monitor your um, humidity levels more than likely through like a bovida pack bovida packs do an absolutely incredible job of maintaining that humidity level that they've got on each individual uh, pack. So there you have it. I mean, this to me is, is an absolutely incredible unit. Very, very versatile, as I said before. Who is it good for? I think really for anybody either getting into cigars, this already gives you an incredible unit that allows you to kind of expand your, your collection, all while maintaining the heating and cooling element of this unit. Again, you'll have to regulate the humidity portion, but there's other units out there that will even assist you a little bit more, make that a little simpler to do outside of just a standard Bovida pack, which again is, is kind of my go-to and, and a lot of people's go-to when it comes to regulating the humidity. So the fan in the back, that will constantly allow for air circulation. So you've got your either heating and cooling air circulation, great humidity, so you're constantly moving all of that around in this unit. Again, I had mentioned before, uh, this is a, a dual or double layer glass, so you're gonna maintain its heating and cooling spot on. You're not gonna get a lot or much leakage in terms of humidity, so that should really maintain. Overall, it's a fantastic unit. It's very quiet. It's running right now. You probably can't even hear any. I mean, I'm sitting a foot and a half, two feet from this unit, and I can barely even hear the thing running. So there you have it. This is the Need 148L Cigar Humidor. That's both heating and cooling. Absolutely incredible unit. So you make sure you check out the link in the description below for if you wanna go ahead and purchase this. I'll also have a discount code for a short period of time that will allow you to get a, a little uh, percentage off of the unit as well. So guys, there you have it from Need 1, the 48L 300 count uh, cigar humidor. So. I want to say a big thank you to Need One for sending this unit to me uh, to do today's review of. So thank you very much for that. Remember, make sure you check out the link in the description below for where you can purchase it and apply a discount code as well. So thank you so much for tuning into today's review. And as always, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.